Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at background radiation, natural sources and artificial sources. Natural sources of background radiation include cosmic rays, so radiation that reaches the Earth from space, rocks and soil. Some rocks are radioactive and give off radioactive radon gas. Living things, plants absorb radioactive materials from the soil and these can be passed up the food chain. So the majority of background radiation occurs naturally from minerals and a small fraction comes from man-made elements. Naturally occurring radioactive materials in the ground, soil and water produce background radiation. And the human body may even contain some of these naturally occurring radioactive materials. We're looking at artificial sources of background radiation. These include X-rays, radioactive fallout from nuclear weapons testing, and radioactive waste from nuclear power stations. Artificial sources account for about 15% of the average background radiation dose. So there is little we can uh, do about natural background radiation. So after all, we can't stop eating, drinking, breathing out, or being exposed to cosmic background radiation. However, human activity is added to the background radiation by creating and using artificial sources of radiation. So these include the things that we previously discussed. Artificial sources account for about 15%. Uh, <clears throat> nearly all artificial background radiation comes from medical procedures such as receiving x-rays or x-ray photographs. Naturally occurring radiation or background radiation comes from the world around us. So radioactive materials including uranium, thorium and radium exist naturally in the soil and essentially break down and create the gas radon. Right. So all air contains a little bit of radon gas which is responsible for most of the dose that say Americans receive in a year from background radiation. So besides this, gamma ray emitters, there are background radiation from the uh, cosmic background radiation. Uh, this is caused by shock waves from colliding galaxies and even some exotic hypothetical like decay of things like cosmic strings. There's background radiation that's been left over from the Big Bang that we can't do very much about. Uh, some places where background radiation will cause more of a problem is if you're a pilot and you are flying closer to the edge of the atmosphere than the ground, you will get a bigger dose of background radiation from cosmic microwave background radiation than somebody who just stays at ground level all of the time. Thanks for watching.